Hey, good bright and early morning, folks. Thanks again for tuning in right here on Hook, Line, and Singer. I'm your host, resident singing fisherman, Bob Sellers. I am after some bluegill and shell cracker today. I have a special guest. Oh, it's Pop. <laughs> it's Pop. We may even get after a bass. Um, I don't know. We just had a full moon. They ought to be on bed. Let's see if we can get them to bite. Finally, camera's been running 140 minutes, and that's the first bite I've had. Better than none. It's a nice little two or three pound basser. They must have heard you. <laughs> I thought we were caught fish today too. Not not fish I read it. I thought we were I don't know where there's no shell to get them in there. Right? That's the only way. Look here, look here. You got it now. I hear you. That look pretty. Well, Pop, there's an old Kenny Rogers song that says, you got to know when to hold them. Yeah. You got to know when to fold them. We folded them. We folded them. <laughs> the fish not would bite. not cooperate. Not bite. Fish not bite. <laughs> now, I got lucky somehow and landed two bass. I had two bites. In fact, Caught two fish. I caught two brim. <laughs> you did catch two brim, but he didn't. They don't care. He didn't think they were camera worthy. I sure. Uh, <laughs> expecting bigger to come later, but bigger never came. No. I mean, it's a tough day fishing when you have uh, two boxes of crickets and two cups of worms, and you can't get a brim to bite. 
That doesn't yeah. happen much. Not much. Anywhere. And the craziest thing, we just had a full moon a day or two ago, and we could still see it this morning when we got here. Mm -hmm. What time is it? 10 o'clock? I, I came out at this exact same time just a couple weeks ago, and I had caught nine or 10 bass, the smallest one about the size of the biggest one yeah. I caught today. You fished all the way around that lake. And uh, it's just, that's just the way it goes. I don't know when this will air, but we're having record heat wave. It's all, all across most of the country, but it's not even summer yet. It's, it's middle of June and we're about to break uh, triple digits. So I don't know if that's having an effect on the fish or not. Of course, they never bite great in hot weather. 99. But that's just the name of the game. You sure won't catch one sitting at home. Uh -uh. Well, I'm seeing, I've been seeing all over Facebook recently, there's a big ruckus uh, in the Southern Baptist Convention. A lot of people are torn up. Uh, personally, I'm not surprised. I think it's just a matter of time until the Southern Baptist, you name it, all denominations are. I saw a funny video where an old man was talking about denominations and he called them demonations. I never had heard that before, but there won't be any denominations in heaven. So I, I couldn't care less about denomination, just to be honest with you. I was born and raised Free Will Baptist and still am proud of that, not ashamed of it. But I don't agree with everything in Free Will Baptist. And what I've found in my travels is there's Free Will Baptist churches that are nothing like my Free Will Baptist church. So there's denominations within denominations. So I couldn't care less. But I think they'll all eventually go the way of the Methodist, which is uh, in the in the middle of a big split right now. Churches are getting out of that because of the garbage that they're doing. And uh, now there's, there's scandal in the Southern Baptist Convention, whether it be uh, of a sexual predator nature uh, they, they found out recently that some of that has been uh, kind of hidden away in recent years. And now they've been having the uh, national convention, which I find it ironic that they're having it in California this year when all this stuff is, uh, yeah. all the controversial stuff is, is really going down. Of course, it's been kind of hidden that way for a while that J.D. Greer came in as the president and kind of took a liberal approach. But anyway, uh, they had a, they had a, they had decided to meet this week about a certain church in California, whether or not to disavow their credentials and that sort of thing, because they're about to ordain two women preachers, which is not the Baptist way. And uh, well, they put a pause on that and they said they, they needed to study more to uh, better define what a pastor is. Okay. <laughs> It's not today's lesson, but the Bible clearly defines what a pastor is. Uh, King James Version that I prefer uh, talks about the office of a bishop, and that's a pastor. And it's 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 pretty plain. It's 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 just as plain and black and white as anything that's in the Bible, to be honest. But the verse I wanted to share today is out of Matthew chapter seven, verse fifteen. It simply says, "Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly." They are ravening wolves. Y'all, I, I, I know, and as this channel grows, it'll be even more people that watch these videos. I hope that aren't necessarily uh, church going people like I've been all my life, thanks to my mom and dad, which I'm very thankful for. And uh, I know people watching these videos aren't necessarily Christians, but um, I hope and pray that, that one day that you will be in and that that one day comes before we take our last breath here because that's that's the last chance that we have and uh, the bible says um, that we all must be saved that's the only way to have eternal life in heaven but there are ravenous wolves in sheep's clothing across all denominations uh, a lot of times i've heard uh, people that don't go to church well i'm not going to church because i know so and so they're a hypocrite and they they cuss or get drunk you know whatever treat their wife bad during the week i know what kind of person they are yet they go down to church every sunday guess what you've got those in every church you've got bad police officers you've got bad doctors you've got nurses that have killed uh dozens and dozens of people intentionally there are bad eggs in every bunch 
Don't let a bad egg keep you out of church, and certainly don't let it affect your relationship with Jesus Christ. Absolutely. That's right. the minority. That's right. My daddy used to, when he was preaching, he used to preach that he, he'd rather go to church with a few hypocrites than go to hell with all of them. And, uh, <laughs> that's about the size of it. That's pretty that, good. That, uh, that element is the minority, not the majority. The that's majority right. of the churches are good, wholesome Christian people. I believe that with all my heart. And back to this, and back to this denomination thing, I'm convinced there's fine Christian people in every one of them, in every yeah. Christian denomination. That's right. Absolutely. And there are duds in every Christian dom Absolutely. denomination. Again, don't let that affect you. No. You just make sure that you're, you're the good one. Of. Yeah, that you're not <laughs> one of the duds. As always, I sure appreciate you guys and gals for tuning in uh, right here on Hook, Line, and Singer. I'd like to encourage you, as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Click that thumbs up if you like the video, and I hope you do. If there's something in particular that you'd like to see on this channel, let me know, and I will try my best to get to it. I appreciate everything that you guys uh, do to help us grow. Hey, until next time, I'll catch you later. Remember, God loves you. So do I. So, so does Pop. Bye-bye. <laughs>